Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of BDI super important questions. These are the most repeated ones, don't miss any of these questions. And these questions are valid for BIS 701 as well as BCS 714D. Both these subjects have the same syllabus. You can refer for both of the subjects and if you have any doubt or you want this PDF, you can DM on Instagram here. And before starting, please like and subscribe, it helps me make more videos like this. So without wasting your time, let's get started. The first question is what is MongoDB and why it is used in big data applications. Okay. So what is MongoDB? It is a database which is cross-platform. It can be used in different platforms, OS platforms, and it is open source. You can download and contribute and edit it. And it is non-relational. It is not having uh, the rows and columns. It is distributed. It can be used in various uh, different devices. And in NoSQL, it is a NoSQL. There is no particular schema or something in which you have to put the data. It is a NoSQL one, okay? And it is document-oriented orient, document -oriented data store. You will be storing documents in there. Okay. Okay. Why MongoDB? Because there are few traditional challenges with DBMS like dealing with large volumes of data, rich variety of data, particularly unstructured data and meeting up to scale the needs of enterprise data. Okay, So to scale and it is not flexible, the RDBMS and uh, it is not having the tolerance also. So those things are there. That's why MongoDB is there which uh, gives us all those features. Okay, So the benefits are replication, high availability, easy scalability, rich query language, full index support, auto sharding, document orientation, high performance, fast in place updates. All these are not present in RDBMS. Okay. Next question is listen, explain any five data types in MongoDB with example. So you can take string, integer, boolean, double, and uh, you can take date. So String, if we write, we will be opening and closing with flower braces and we will be giving a key and a value. Okay, so this is the key and this is the value. In this way, you have to give. So this is how the string is stored. Okay, and uh, if you want to store an integer, this key will be there. The value will be integer type. Okay, double means some decimal will be there. Okay, and boolean, which will be either true or false, t and f in small, small uh, caps. And array you can take array in array will be giving a key and the arrays will be with square braces okay and we'll be specifying the entities in, inside this so it can have also different data types inside one array you can have java you can have a number here you can have a boolean value here okay that is also possible next question is write mongodb queries for inserting a document querying a document updating a field deleting a document so to insert a document we'll be using db dot which db we want to insert insert dot one insert one and open the brackets flower braces inside that the key and the values you have to uh, specify comma separated and closing a flower braces bracket and semicolon this is how you'll be inserting a document next is querying a document based on a condition so db dot students dot find in what condition you are finding age is greater than 20 those students you are going to find okay next is updating a field to update a field you will be specifying in uh, to see field means there will be other values also right which field we want like there will be many ones right so to select that we have to specify one attribute what that attribute i have given here as name the name where it is uh, my name here you have to uh, set the course as computer science previously it was mca right so that will be an updated to computer science so we'll be using it in this way update one deleting a document it's very simple db dot students or delete one and which document you have to delete an identifier of you have to give one attribute okay one key value that whole uh, document will be deleted by using delete one okay Next is explain the use of sort and skip. Okay, these are two methods in MongoDB, sort and skip method. Write the query for the following. Uh, <coughs> we'll discuss this query, okay? So, first query is to sort the documents from student collection in descending order of the student name. So, db.students.find. First, you'll write as find. Then, you'll put as sort. Since it's descending order, you have to write student name from minus one dot pretty. Pretty is for pretty printing, okay? Means it will be printed with uh, the indentations, okay? And student name minus one is equal to minus one means it starts from the descending order. That way it will be sorting. Next is <clears throat> to sort the documents from the student collection and skip the first document from the output. So again, uh, db.student.find skip one means first it will be skipped and pretty to print, uh, print it in a uh, indentation manner dot st sort student name one. This is in ascending order. Okay, so that's why we are just giving it as one. Okay. Explain how arrays are sorted in arrays are stored in MongoDB document. Demonstrate the same with an example. Now, how does array is getting stored? db.food.insert will be opening and closing the brackets. Inside the flower braces, we will be specifying ID and one fruits. The fruits is the array. Okay. As I told you, the array will be in square brackets. Okay. 
whatever is in between them this is the array which we have to insert okay so like that we'll be inserting multiple arrays and if you do the find operation all those ids will be i mean those entries in the food database will be printed okay consider a mongodb collection customer with the following fields customer id account type and account balance write an aggregation query this is the aggregation query how do you write aggregation queries okay first is filter out the documents where account type is s. okay means select the documents where account type is s. group the remaining documents by cust id and sum the account balance for each group whatever the group is there for all that you do the sum of the account balance and then display only those groups where the total balance is greater than 1200 okay so how do you do that so first thing is to aggregate you have to write here and match where account type is s you will be first selecting those ones filtering those after you have selected that group them based on the id of customer id and then total balance you have to do the sum in those each group by customer id it will be sorted find out the sum okay what i mean is c customer id c123 c123 and here is c111 so c123 can form one group when it forms one group account balance will be added 500 plus 900 is 1400 so here it is added and kept as 1400 and c111 has no other uh, document so it will just be taken as such it will be total balance is 1200 now you have to display whose value is greater than 1200 which is c123 so c123 will be printed you have to write match total balance greater than 1200 okay the same uh, data is there but a different question here we have to use the map reduce okay map reduce filter out documents where account type is not equal to s for each unique customer id collect all corresponding account balance mapper function to emit customer id account balance pairs this is the key value pair which you want to put in mapper function and reduce function to aggregate the total balance for each customer id so let's understand each one by one see we have the all the data here the customers data we will be querying and selecting only those whose account type is s so the account type c is eliminated from here and after we have got that what we will be doing is c123 is here c123 is here right so we will be mapping it means c123 will be having two values which is 500 and 900 and c triple one will be having just one value which is 1200 now what we will do we will type here as value id which will be reduction this is reduction step so in reduction we have to do the sum and the aggregation which is 1400 we will get here here we will get 1200 so the same thing which i have discussed previously also the same thing we will do for map function we will be using where map is equal to function emit this dot cust id comma this dot account balance because finally we want only account id and balance nothing else that's why we will take we will be taking it as such reduction function will do the same thing sum of the array values the array values in this case is these values 500 and 900 so it will calculate the sum to execute the query we will be putting those two things in one uh, space map and reduce in one uh, bracket we will be putting where account type is s okay so the output we will be getting is as follows so 1200 and 1400 so in our case 1200 is also getting considered greater than or equal to 1200 like that okay that's all for the module 3 and if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to help me make modules like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one